just hit my mind and um, figured I'd dialogue with you guys about this just, just for a wee bit. But specifically, I want to talk to some fellas right now. So let's just hypothetic, hypothetically, let's just throw that situation out there, right? So let's say you have, you've cheated, okay? And you've been holding on to that, um, you know, do you tell her, you know, do you keep doing what you're doing? And, you know, for various reasons, again, I'm not passing judgment right now. I'm just throwing this thought out there because I, I, I want to, I want some feedback and maybe you don't want to hit, give me a direct feedback here on, on this post, but to DM, uh, my wife and I, um, so we can talk through some of this, some of this, this stuff, but let's just say, so you've, you've went out of, of, of cuffing it and, but it's wearing on you. You're like, I need to get this up off of me. I, I need to live a life that I know is going to be pleasing to my heavenly father um, you know, that, that conviction, I had a professor that said, conviction is the loving course correction from Holy Spirit. So I like that. I want to go with that. Right. So what are the steps that needs to be taken? You know, cause a lot of times you can psych yourself out with your mindset and you're like, well, um, you know, I need to do this or I need to do that. The truth of the matter is you need to make things right. Now, I don't know how she's going to respond. If you haven't told her yet, I have no idea. No idea. I can't promise you this. Can't promise you that. But I will say that God is a restorer. And if you have a humble heart and mind to recognize and realize and to confess your faults. And if you listen to this video, then you're already connected to a couple who not only will pray for you, love you and encourage you and walk with you through this journey. But, you know, there's a roadmap to help you work through some of the toughest times in your life. So that's already an upswing if you make that decision to not tell or reveal because that needs to be done, but to change your courses of action and operate in a way that is going to bring glory and honor to God, uh, to, to step up on your responsibility, uh, to talk through some of those deep, dark things. Because as brothers, we don't talk about a whole lot. And I understand it to a degree. But we got to learn how to master communication. So I want to encourage you as the first step of action to stop whatever you're doing through love and respect. But stop what you're doing. Take some moments and times of praying and reflection. Hear from Holy Spirit. Line yourself up, line yourself up the best way you know how to. And then move forward with a plan of action that will help to restore uh, some of the years and some of the things that are trying to be taken and even snatched from you. If your lady is willing to move forward, then your posture has to be one of true humility. True humil humility. Being able to move forward and deal with the coaching and deal with the issues and answering the questions and moving forward and praying and getting counsel and getting wisdom and getting coaching and continue to move forward and answer. It's a tougher, statistically speaking, it, uh, uh, after infidelity or adultery, um, it's a two year journey for, for recovery, right? Now we believe that the Lord has given us some strategies and a roadmap that it can be done when, when, when the husband and wife is both fully committed and, and, um, about 12 months. So anyway, um, allow Holy Spirit to speak to your heart. Again, if you want, if you want prayer, uh, if, if you, if you want to, uh, hop on a, a call with us for consultation, um, we're there for you. We're there for you. All right. So just wanted to share that with you. You're awesome. Uh, praying for you. And, um, just wishing you the best.